Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome tonight's honorary event chair, 2013 Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame inductee, Linda Koch Lorimer. Good evening and welcome. My thanks to each and every one of you for coming to join this wonderful celebration. The Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame has once again allowed us to gather for a very special evening of tributes and what I know will prove to be inspiration. In one short evening's program, we have the chance to advance all of the missions of the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame, to honor publicly the achievements of Connecticut women and what a group we have tonight, to preserve their stories, to educate ourselves about them, and to inspire the continued achievement of women and girls. Your testament is a powerful endorsement of this work. So thank you to all of you. This year, we salute the global impact of Connecticut women by inducting three extraordinary women and recognizing another 10 amazing women whose work is quite literally changing lives all over the globe. The women we honor tonight are leaders in both the nonprofit and corporate worlds. They are leaders in multinational businesses and global humanitarian organizations. They are bridge builders across cultures and innovators in international human rights. They have been pioneers in global health and global travel. They have taken their know-how and that of their colleagues out around the globe to tackle some of society's greatest challenges. And many have also brought the world back to Connecticut, challenging us to reach beyond our borders and our sometimes parochial thinking. I must say it is a personal delight for me to be here to sal salute tonight's two living inductees, my friends Carolyn Miles and Andrew Nui. I've had the pleasure to serve on the board of Save the Children with Carolyn and the Sea up close and personal, her passion for helping children around the globe. And for 12 years, Indra was a trustee of Yale University, so she was one of my bosses, and my every encounter was an inspiration of what was always magnificent leadership. In summary, this evening, we get to be in the company of heroines. <laughs> 